was fabulous. It really was. It, you know, one of the things that you like an awful lot is the idea of starting something from the ground floor and to watch our front office develop, to watch our fan development. It's been very exciting. And, and the, the most important part is I think that the best excitement is about to come because it was probably just 53 weeks ago that Cologne was decided to have a team. So an awful lot has been accomplished and if last year we had four months to get ready for it, now we've had 16 months to get ready for that second season and I expect an awful lot of improvement and an awful, an awful lot of awareness from the fans. You know, a year ago in April when we came in you'd say Cologne Centurions to somebody on the street and they'd go, who? Now you say Cologne Centurions, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of them. Next year you're going to say Cologne Centurions, oh yeah, I've seen them play. And so, you know, it's that kind of progress that you want to you want to make, and I think we're making it. One of the things I think is, that has happened, I think we, we are being allocated a better football player. And then I also think, because of our experience and some of the things that have happened in our league, I think we're producing a better football player. Uh, I don't know, and I may be misquoted here or mis a little bit inaccurate, but I think the number of players that have gone immediately from our league to making a contribution in some fashion in the NFL is increasing every year. I know that just of the former Cologne Centurions this past season, we had a very large number of players that are either on an active roster or have, have been on a practice squad this, this past, this current season right now. And that large number, I want to say it's close to 17 or 18 of our players from last year. It, it, that's a pretty high number and, and pretty pleasing. Just like I used the example of the, pe the fans of Cologne are starting to recognize who the Cologne Centurions are, I think the longer NFL Europe exists, the more comfort and the more faith and the more confidence the coaches in the National Football League have about sending players over there. He needs to go get some experience. And I think they're seeing the return of that player as a much better athlete than he was when he left. And I think it, we're getting and will continue to get better, better players, which means the cooperation and the respect of the two leagues is improving every year. I think all of us are sad to see the Scottish Claymores go for a lot of reasons. I think it was a great place to visit. I think the organization was a great place to that, that worked awfully hard at it and did a lot of positive things. Uh, I think it's important that we have an American influence of, of American football in Great Britain. But at the same point in time, I understand that the change that's being made in all likelihood to another city in Germany is done for business reasons. And sometimes that you know it's, it's just like a football. Club. If we lose a game, if we lose a game, what am I going to do? I'm going to simplify and then grow again. And my expectations are that's exactly what we're doing in a business sense. We're simplifying, we're consolidating, we're making travel easier, we're making expenses a little bit less. But then as we get more and more comfortable with that and we have some success, I'd expect this to grow. And, you know, my guess, and this is pure Peter Voss speculation, that once we do expand, whether it's two years, ten years, twenty years from now, that we would expand outside of Germany.